Hi, in this video I will show you how to create such a box. Create a new project in the part design workbench. Select create a sketch. Select the XY plane as the plane of the sketch. And create a rectangle. At the dimensions of the rectangle, select this command, constraint distance and select this line and enter 100 mm, then select this line and enter 50 mm. Click close to exit the sketch and select the path operation and enter 50 mm as the sketch extrude. Next, select this edge and select the chamfer operation and enter 30 mm as the size of the chamfer. Click OK and now based on this solid we will create a solid with thin walls. To do this, to remove this and this wall, select these two walls with the control key and select the thickness operation. This is the operation to allow you to determine the thickness of the walls. Here, as thickness, enter 2 mm and the walls of this model will have this thickness. But in this case, this dimension of 2 mm was added outside and this part was enlarged by 2 mm to the side. To keep the dimension of this object, the ones we defined during the sketch, select the Make Thickness Inwards option and click OK to accept. In this simple way we created a box in which we have removed two walls. Using the thickness operation you can select a few walls that will be removed. It doesn't have to be just one wall, we can select two, three or more as many as we need. Now select this wall and on this wall we will create a sketch, select draw circle and draw two circles. Then select the dimension of the circle, select this circle and enter 4 mm. Then select this circle and enter 8 mm. OK. And click the right mouse button to cancel the circle dimensioning command. Then select the centers of the circles and select this constraint to determine that the centers of the circles lie on one line, now create two random lines, more or less like this. Click the right mouse button to cancel the line drawing command and select this point and this circle and select this constraint. Then select this point and this circle and this constraint. Now select these two lines and select this constraint to determine that these lines are vertical. Select this point and this circle and select this constraint. Select this point and this circle and select this constraint. Now select the center of this circle and the center of this circle and select the vertical dimension and enter 10 millimeters. Then select the tree match and remove these edges and click the right mouse button to cancel this command. Now select this point and this point and select the vertical dimension and enter 30 mm. Then select this point and this point and select horizontal dimension and enter 20 mm. The sketch is finished, click close to exit the sketch, select the pocket operation and as type select to first. To add a cutout to this place so that the cutout is made only on this wall. Click OK to accept. 
Now add the mirror copy of this operation and as a plane to the mirror feature we need to create an additional reference plane that will pass through the center of this solid. Select this wall and this wall with the control key pressed, select create a datum plane command and add a 90 degree rotation of this plane around the X axis. And click OK to confirm. Now select the pocket operation, select the mirrored feature command and as a plane of the mirror feature select select reference and select the reference plane that we created. Click OK to accept and in this way with a few clicks we created this hole on the other side of this solid and select the reference plane in the operation tree and press the spacebar to turn off the visibility of this plane. And now we will create a text on this wall, select this face and select the draft workbench. Then select the shape from text command. Enter the text that will appear on the face. I will enter FreeCAD. Then specify the font that this text will be made of. You can use system fonts and I'll just use Arial fonts. And specify more or less the starting point of this text. Later we will be able to adjust the location of this text. I will click more or less in this place and I click OK and the text has been created. Turn off the visibility of this plane. Expand these options and click this icon and set the view from the front. And now we can change the position of the text. The text is selected in the operation tree and we can use the position and we can move this text properly. We can also increase the height of the text, for example 12 millimeters. and to refresh the view click somewhere outside this field and the text has been enlarged. And here we can still move this text a little and OK. And now based on this text we will add a extrusion and to do this switch to the part workbench, select the extrude operation and specify the length of the extrusion. I will enter 1 mm and click OK. And this way we created text on the model wall, however this text and the box are two separate solids because if I select the text now I can change its position. And to connect the text with the solid with the control key in the operation tree select the solid and the text and then select the union operation which will connect the two solids. And at this point the box and the text are one solid. And by clicking the right mouse button you can change the color of the solid. I will choose random color and with these few simple steps we have created such a pretty cool box. And that's it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel. This contributes to the growth of this channel.